Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to the next episode of the Edge of the Earth campaign playthrough with Monterey Jack. And we are in the real scenario 2 to the Forbidden Peaks. So, uh, last time we managed to fend off the attackers to the camp in the part 3 of the Ice and Death scenario. Uh, I got a bunch of experience and I also resolved the interlude in between the scenarios. So let's look what happened in the interlude first. So in the interlude, uh, the restful night, uh, we uh, read some fluff text depending on which uh, expedition members we picked. So I talked to Kuki and I got one experience, then I talked to Danford and I start the game with two extra uh, cards in my opening hand. Then I also talk to Takayeda and uh, I get three extra resources uh, for the start of the scenario. Uh, then uh, we resolved after that the um, Forbidden Peak setup. So I have uh, James Kuki uh, Fredericks in play as my uh, expedition member, which I'm using for this scenario. Then uh, there were uh, uh, a bunch more fluff texts that resulted that I uh, added one um, frost token into the bag. Then also we add one elder thin token into the bag. And I, instead of adding even more frost tokens, I added one mental trauma to Monterey Jack. So that you don't get overwhelmed with all of those uh, Frost tokens. I also received uh, a total of seven experience after the last scenario because one added from the interlude and one bank from before. So next, let's look at what upgrades I did to Monterey Jack's deck. And we are over on ArkhamDB.com where I have the upgraded deck showing. So uh, I removed two elusives. I found out that I'm not using these as much as I thought. Uh, getting uh, paying two to uh, move away one location is not good enough, in my opinion. So I removed those. I also removed one of the perceptions I still have in the deck. I'm feeling like Monterey Jack doesn't need that much of card draw cards because his own ability and the post learning are doing the card drawing for we have. Uh, I added one uh, level 4 Eon chart to the deck. This is a really powerful, <laughs> almost broken card. Uh, it lets you do a free action uh, once per turn by exhausting Eon chart. So you can do two of the following actions, move, evade or in investigate. So for Monterey all of these are really good skill checks. So uh, this is a um, shoo-in for sure into the deck. Then um, I also added, I've got a plan level 2. This is just so that I have some more options to defeat bigger enemies, uh, even if we don't have uh, Kuki in play, for example. Uh, then uh, we have one copy of Survey the Area. This seems like a really good card for Monterey Jack because he has both high intellect and high agility, so those two combo really well with this card. And that is all I upgraded with the 7 experience I had. So we are ready to begin. So during the setup uh, we picked 5 uh, mountain side locations at random. We started at the rocky ledge and there is the spare parts we found in the first scenario underneath there. Uh, we don't have any more um, supplies that we could have found uh, in this scenario because I, I didn't find the locations that I was able to uh, search for those in the first three scenarios so this is it. Uh, we can grab that and the objective is to get to, to the summit which is here uh, with as many spare parts as possible. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. We are ready to start, uh, start by drawing our opening hand and as you can see this really resembles the uh, Essex County Express scenario where you need to investigate all 
clues before you can move on. So this all read, you cannot enter the location unless all of the clues on the location directly below it, it have been discovered. And these are like uh, all times uh, below, above. So every uh, location on the left is below next location and every location on the right is above. And we get seven cards because we have the uh, bonus from from uh, earlier. So uh, we shuffle that. So we of course keep the lock picks. Uh, shortcut I think is not that useful because we don't have that many uh, ways to move extra. Mm, trusty bull weep. Okay. Try to keep it. There are a lot of enemies in the encounter deck in this scenario. Uh, of course we are keeping the death number 13 because we get that thing to play free. Obfuscation is good. I think we are just ditching these two. So we'll draw two more. So we get Leo de Luca and Sled Dog. So I think we want to get Leo into play as fast as possible. Try to get some resources. So this comes into play immediately. So we have the death 13 in play right from the start, which is really good. So playing Leo, uh, getting a bunch of resources. Well, Actually, I think we want to investigate a move so we can play Leo next turn. That sounds like a good, better plan. Uh, so let's see. Shuffling the deck. So we'll start by uh, playing the lock picks. Second action we will investigate. I'm uh, not committing anything to the test. And uh, uh, we have, uh, I think now we have three frost tokens in the back from earlier and what we added at the start. So hopefully we're not keeping those that much. So uh, we are investigating 10 versus 4. It is a minus 2, so it's Grab the clue, and the lock fix is uh, exhausted. Uh, last action, we'll just move. So we are able to move here, and uh, st steep incline, two route, two clues, forced. After you move to steep incline from a location below it, take one damage. So, uh, always if we're moving from location below, we are in the forced effect, so the rocky ledge effect didn't happen. Oh yeah. Let's back up. <laughs> of course, I, I forgot that I need to grab the spare parts and it, that takes an action. So I'm doing it now. So I, I actually won't move this turn. Sorry about that. But yeah, it is what it is. But at least we can move next round and start investigating the next location. But uh, no enemies will go to upkeep. Uh, we didn't move, so we don't get any extras from Monterey, so we uh, take two cards. I think we will grab the hiking boots. would be really good. After the last clue is discovered from your location, extra hiking boots move to connect location. Connecting under the location, so you hike up. But, um, Inter report would be good because we can just um, get free uh, or uh, close without checking. But I think the hiking boots would be better at this uh, scenario. And we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Yeah, the Doom. So one of six encounter card is uh, hanging on the edge. Uh, hazard revelation test. Agility 3, if you fail, take 2 damage, lose control of each expedition asset you control, placing it at your location and move to the location directly below you. So, uh, I think I'm just testing because we are, we are unable to... We'll just take 1 damage and we are unable to move down. So, 5 versus 3. The Checking. Well, we don't have we have the bull whip, but I, I think I'm keeping on on that for a more crucial test or playing it later. So five versus two, uh, three uh, minus one, 
he passed, so nothing bad happens. Uh, first action, we will play Leo de Luca. So we get an extra action for each round, so that is, or each turn, that is really powerful. Uh, we'll next use the action to move up. So now we take one damage from this. Right. And uh, each time we move, we lose all of our uh, clues, so we can't stockpile clues at this uh, scenario. So, uh, next action, I will uh, investigate using the lockpicks. Uh, 10 versus 2. It is a frost token. It is an Elder Sign token, and because we moved, uh, we are one location away, so I'm taking actually a resource because we really want to play more cards next round. And last action, oh yeah, we could grab one clue. Uh, last action, we are investigating again. So, five versus two. It is another Frost token, so minus one. And it is an auto fail token, so we fail. Nothing else happens. That is a bummer. Well, we'll investigate next round and possibly have the hiking boots in play then. But yeah, uh, that is my turn. No enemies will got upkeep. Uh, we, uh, at the end of my turn, I'll take a resource. Uh, upkeep, we take two cards. I'm picking the hot picks because we a spare and we'll gain one resource. So that is that turn. Right, let's go to the next turn. Oh yeah, uh, lockpicks have been ready, so let's go to the next turn. We add another doom. Encounter Cardis. Uh, Guardian Elder Thing. 3, fight, 4, health, 1, uh, agility, monster, el elder thing, hunter, force. When you deal damage to Guardian Elder Thing, for each point of damage dealt, discard the top card of your deck, draw each weakness discarded this way. Uh, I honestly think I will just evade this one and start running away. So, uh, first action, we will evade, uh, 5 versus 1. It is a minus one, so this enemy is evaded. I'll just actually keep it over right there. Second action, we'll play the hiking boots. Next action is to investigate using clock picks, so... We are investigating uh, 10 versus 2. It is a minus 4, but we still succeed enough and won't break the lockpick, so we grab the 2. Uh, I'll trigger the hiking boots, so uh, exhaust the hiking boots, get a free move here. And it is the windswept path. Three straps, zero clues, force after windswept path is revealed. If it is at level 0, place 1 clues on it from the token. Force. After you move the windswept path from a location below it, place 1 clue on it from the token pool. So we lose our clues, we'll place 1 clue there. And uh, that is it, I think. If we try to investigate, we could just uh, get a free move next round. I'm actually taking a resource because we might need to play a three cost of picks soon enough. And that is my whole turn. Uh, no enemy actions will go to upkeep. This enemy ready is my assets ready. Oh. Uh, we'll draw two cards. We'll pick unexpected courage. 
no the shortcuts we gain one resource oh yeah and we move we'll uh, grab another resource uh, we yeah we move this round yeah okay so that is that turn let's go to the next turn so we are at three of six doom encounter card for this turn is another enemy so it's a constrict uh, constricting uh, elder thing uh, three fight dex health and two agility hunter monster elder thing uh, existent uh, level of your location to minimum one so the level of our location means that the lowest is zero then it's one two three four and five so we are at one two so it's uh, two health enemy so I think the uh, cook is custom 32 will shoot it and will continue from there so uh, we'll start by fighting and we are fighting with this so I'm using the uh, five to fight so five versus three and do I want to commit I'll, I'll commit the sled dogs actually so six versus three So, tablet, uh, minus three, if you fail, lose control of an expedition item. Okay, so that is enough. This takes two damage, is defeated. And second action, we will use Coffix to investigate. Uh, ten versus three. Minus one, we'll grab the clue. I'll exhaust the expedi uh, the hiking boots to take a free move. And uh, you move over here. So we find the snow covered crag. After you move to snow covered crag uh, from a location below it, exhaust each asset you control. Okay, two, two clues here. But the shroud is really low, so I'm thinking of just trying to investigate it in my last action. So um, each asset I control is exhausted, but they will ready at the uh, end of the round. Uh, yeah, this really don't matter because they are not. Uh, oh yeah, uh, this has three supplies. So but getting that I could use this one. So we could uh, use these to add supplies to another asset I control. Uh, none of my other assets use supplies at the moment, so it's, it's basically useless. Okay, um, well, we still have two actions, so first of those is just to investigate 5 versus 2. Minus 1, oh yeah, we uh, lost this clue. When we moved, we get one clue, last action. I will actually play the trusty bull whip for my last action because we want to get the free move from the hiking boots next round. And that is our turn. We move once. I will a resource. We're happy with the cars we have at the moment. Uh, enemy action this enemy moves here upkeep uh, we ready everything we draw two cards i will pick uh, scout ahead for the icons and we gain one resource so that is that turn let's go to the next turn we add a doom. Uh, encounter card is uh, through the eyes. Uh, that's the nearest location with the, the copy of the through the eyes attached. As an additional cost for you to enter or leave attached location. Uh, test uh, agility to if you fail, cancel the effects of the move. Take one damage and one horror and discard the eyes. Okay. That's not that bad. We have uh, uh, six evade because of the hiking boots. 
I, I actually use lockpicks at uh, 11, <laughs> so that's that's nuts. So uh, first action, we'll use the. I'll actually save the lockpicks for the next uh, location. So investigating five versus two, so I'm up by three. That should be enough. This minus two, so we'll grab this two. Uh, we use the hiking boots to move. So I'll use the clues again to the next location, which is the white bluff. Uh, it is a, a three shell location with one clue. After you move the white bluff from a location below, it test agility uh, X axis uh, uh, one plus the location's level. If you fail, lose control of an expedition as an in, in the white bluff. Okay, so. Test that, and I'm uh, committing the scout ahead. This test. So eight plus three, be fine. Elder sign. I am actually grabbing a card. So nimble. And we don't lose any um, assets. Oh yeah, uh, we had to test this also. I'm just testing it now. I won't commit uh, anything. Well, that actually was for that. So, taking this back. No, uh, we committed it. So, I'm testing this. So, uh, one, two, three, four. I think I'm doing the test again because it's too hard to figure out. So, first testing this. So, uh, six versus. Uh, two. Minus four, we are able to move away. Then I'm committing this to this test, so I am testing eight versus five. Minus two, so all, all good now. Now we will investigate. I'm using the lockpicks, so uh, eleven versus three. Uh, 11 versus 3, so 7, yeah, so we still pass by 2, so we won't break the lockpicks and we we'll grab this clue. Uh, next action will move up here. And it is a 3 shot location with 3 clues. Uh, we can only discover clues from here by investigating. Pause the, uh, when the summit is revealed, add one uh, cross token to the chaos bag, so. Uh, resign at each expedition asset you control to the display, return all of your crew to the token pool, so uh, we can resign here. Uh, but I think we have a good time and try try and get those tools before resigning. So uh, next action I will use the unexpected courage to investigate. I am investigating um, uh, six Seven, uh, five, six, seven versus three. Uh, minus one. We get one of those clues, and uh, we'll go to the enemy phase. So at the end of the round, we move twice, so we'll get a card, a stubborn detective, and a resource. So we have to deal with that detective now. So that. Detective actually hits us for one damage. Then this enemy moves here. Mark this detective. So uh, now uh, the de detective is says that uh, while stubborn detective is at your location, treat your investigator as if his or her printed text box were blank. Great. So uh, we don't have any any special abilities. Uh, One. For, for the time being, as this uh, detective is hunting us at the mountainside, which is funny. But yeah, uh, we'll go to upkeep. Uh, we still have the force learning, so we get two parts of two field work. We'll grab one and discard one, and we gain one resource. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we got to ready our assets, so let's do that. Okay. Uh, we'll add a doom, so five of six, encounter card is, nightmares, vapors, peril, 
Revelation, you must either choose one, lose two actions, shuffle the top two cards of the deck lily deck into your deck without looking at them. I think we'll take those deck lily cards because, well, it is a risky uh, action, but we really want to uh, save our actions. We, we want to uh, investigate, or we want to. Uh, we, we could actually play obfuscation, investigate, investigate, resign. So that actually sounds like a good plan. Okay, so we shoveled the top two Tekelili cards into the deck. First action. Uh, no, uh, no actions yet, so we'll play the obfuscation. And we'll use the obfuscation by spending it to investigate. Won't take any attacks of opportunity. And I am investigating. I'm using the lot picks for this test. Uh, 11 versus 3. Minus 4. Grab a clue. Uh, second action we will play another copy of lockpicks by discarding the other uh, next action we will use the other copy of lockpicks uh, 11 versus 3 frost token gonna be clutch Elder sign, it is a zero. So, yeah, this goes back. So, we'll grab this clue. Last action, we will resign this. Clues will go away. And that is that scenario. So, let's see. Um, we are able to resign, so... Advance, so we get the resolution one, a city of wonder. Okay, um, in your camper lock record, the team climbed to the summit. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory x value of each card in the victory display. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, for each expedition asset, so this gets added to the um, victory display also. For each expedition asset that is not in the victory display, cross off it title in the supplies record section of the campaign log in the expedition team section oh yeah for each expedition asset in the victor display an investigator may choose to add that asset to their deck if the, it does not count towards their deck size for each expedition asset added to the investigator's deck this way that the investigator earns one bonus experience so we are adding that just for the experience so we get seven experience out of this uh, scenario uh, the last Point is that in the expedition team section of the campaign law, report that the amount of damage and for each partner asset in play, and it is a zero again. So that is it. We managed to climb to the summit with the counter aid check. Uh, the mobility of uh, the hiking boots is really good in this scenario. Um, I think we might have forgotten to move this guy once, but it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so that was the. Uh, scenario to the Forbidden Peaks, uh, we'll spend the seven experience before we continue to the next scenario. Hope you guys like this playthrough, thanks for watching and until next time.